Hey guys, Brian here from Stogie Review, IPCPR 2015. I'm here with Janelle Rosenfield. Uh, the, the, I'm sorry, was it the Janelle Rosenfeld? Janelle Rosenfeld, sorry, and okay. and the uh, Vice President of Marketing okay. for Altidus USA. <laughs> Well, we got it. Between the yeah. both of us, we got it, right? Yeah. Right. Um, so what, what's happening with Altatus well, this year? Welcome to IPCPR. This is a big year for us. I kind of call it the year of Monte Cristo, if you will. One of our biggest launches is the new Monte Cristo 80th anniversary. Monte Cristo began in 1935 in Havana. Uh, the story goes that in old Havana, as cigar rollers plied their craft, they were read to by the lectors at the front of the room. And one of the stories that the rollers loved to hear time after time was the story of the Count of Monte Cristo. Thus, Monte Cristo was born. And now, 80 years later, we celebrate the brand with this very limited edition, um, 80th anniversary Monte Cristo. It's a beautiful box. It's a dark oak hardwood, 12 cigars, these beautiful lift-out trays. These look really nice. And as wonderful as the packaging is, and as beautiful as the cigar is, it's surpassed by the smoking quality and the taste of the cigar. This cigar features something very special. It features the new Pilotico tobacco, which is exclusive to Altadis USA. Um, right after the embargo began, Pepe Mendez brought seeds to the Dominican Republic, the Pilotico seeds. He carried them on his body as he came over to the Dominican Republic. Um, now, today, one of the largest growers in the world, and certainly the largest grower uh, in the Dominican Republic and processor in the Dominican Republic, um, uh, they have been growing the new Pilotico forest for about three years now. When they first brought it over and started planting it in the Dominican Republic, they loved the characteristics of the tobacco. It was very tasty, uh, slightly sweet, made a really complex smoke. Unfortunately, the leads, uh, the yields were very, very low. It's a shorter tobacco. You only get about uh, 12 leaves on it as opposed to the 14 or 15. Um, the leaves are smaller, so you can't make as many cigars from it. For a lot of manufacturers, that was too co that wasn't cost efficient. Um, so they stopped growing the seed. About five years ago, uh, in our associations with the Mendez family, we were talking about innovation and trying new things, and they told us about this wonderful seed and this wonderful tobacco. We said we want to use it, and they said, that's great, but it's really expensive. And we said, you know what, for something special like Monte Cristo, let's grow it, let's use it, let's, um, you know, plant it and use it for very special projects. And so this is the first project on which we're using that new Pilotico. So it's just the one size? We have one size, okay. yep. Uh, it's this beautiful box pressed. Number two. Tor tor yep. Torpedo number two, yeah. Yep, exactly. What's it, what's it uh, going to retail for? It's going to retail for $22. 22 okay. Right. It's available in boxes of 12 cigars and a limited edition box of 80. It uh, looks like it's selling well, huh? It is selling well. <laughs> <laughs> and these will be in retailers in September. Now, on to another Monte Cristo in our show of Monte Cristos. This is the new Estoque, which is in the line of Espada by Monte Cristo. You may remember That's that nice. we launched, yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? We launched Espada by Monte Cristo last year. This is the 100% Nicaraguan uh, blend that we're doing with the Placencias. Uh, this was the cigar we launched last year, the Espada in the beautiful suede box. Three sizes with a Jalapa Vintage 2010 wrapper. We love the cigar, it's been doing fantastically well for us. We decided this year to add a line to it. This is the new Estoque. And this Estoque, also 100% Nicaraguan, features a Jalapa wrapper viso. The viso are the leaves from the topper part of the plant. Um, they're uh, thicker, they're more oily, and they're extremely tasty because they get that wonderful nourishment from the sun. So um, the Espada full-bodied cigar, Estoque even fuller-bodied fuller. cigar. This higher has a primings. lot of kick to it, higher primings, a lot of kick, and a lot of really round, wonderful toasty flavors, some nuts, some coffee, espresso type um, taste on your palate, fantastic cigar. One size again, this is um, also a torpedo, but um, that nice tapering to torpedo, which is a wonderful cigar to hold and smoke. And this retails at $14.50. Okay. And we're doing 3,000 boxes of these as well, 10 cigars per box. What's, what's the, uh, what are the dimensions on that? Um, I believe, let's see here, 50 by 6. 50 yeah, 50 by 6? Yeah, gauge by 6 inches long. Okay. And these will size. also be in retail in September as well. 
And now another Monte Cristo. We talked about the year Monte Cristo, the Monte Cristo Vintage Connecticut. This is in our Monte Cristo White series. Uh, Monte Cristo White, a well-known line of Monte Cristo, is a real classic. It's been selling for years and one of the best-selling cigars in the country. Uh, uh, the original white is a Connecticut shade wrapper grown in Ecuador. So a Connecticut seed grown in the shade, those natural shady clouded areas of Ecuador. Uh, beautiful taste. This Connecticut vintage utilizes a wrapper grown on our farms in Connecticut, 100% USA grown on the Monte Cristo farms in the Connecticut River Valley. Altadis USA is, I believe, the only company still that owns farms and still grows tobacco on that land in the Connecticut Valley. This particular wrapper is from 2008. It's okay. been aging and fermenting and curing, and it's fantastic. It's very tasty, very uh, round flavored, savory, smooth, and a little bit of sweetness um, and a little bit of nuttiness on it as well. It also features a Nicar Nicaraguan binder, which helps it burn very well, gives it some punch, and Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Peruvian fillers. And that oh, that's Peruvian nice. Filler, yeah, it gives it some very nice. You just taste. notice all the d details are inside the box yes. in case. Yep. Uh, in case you forget. That's right. right. Yeah. And, and again, that real wonderful selling point is the 100% USA grown Connecticut shade wrapper. Oh, that's cool. Beautiful packaging, three sizes. Uh, we've got a, I don't know, a double Corona, a number two, and a number three, which is 44 by five and a half which, by the way, is a delightful size of cigar to smoke. Yes. I know a lot of us are trending towards those big cigars. I still like this size to smoke. In my opinion, this size, you get the best um, real taste of the blend in that 44 to, to 48. Yeah, the ratio. wrapper really comes out. Yeah. It's great ratio. So this is a wonderful size. This is priced at 1050. 1050. Uh, okay. The uh, double Corona is 1250, and the number two is 1450. And Three. these are now in retail. They're out now. Yep. Okay. So that's what we have for Monte Cristo. Let's walk over and see a few other things as well. Okay. So we went from Monte Cristo. Now let's go to Romeo and Julieta, the second probably best known brand in the U.S. Romeo by Romeo and Julieta. We launched the the, um, the I guess the, the original Romeo. Original Romeo uh, about four years ago. Huge success. Everybody loves it. Now we have the Romeo Añejo by Romeo and Julieta. This is a Connecticut broadleaf stock cut. Stock cut is a type of barn curing where you cut the stalk of the plant at the base of the stalk. So you don't take the leaves off, you keep all of the leaves on the stalk, you cut it at the base and then you hang it in the barn from the base of the stalk and as the um, humidity drops out of the leaves, it, you know, gravity pulls and then the air pulls out the uh, humidity out of the leaves and so it really adds a lot of flavor to the leaves, the stalk cut curing. It's a little bit more costly, it takes a little bit more time and you get a little bit lower yield but it really brings out the flavor of the broadleaf. So, so this you're really is a, harvesting all the leaves at once. Right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, this is a stock cut uh, broadleaf from 2010. A really beautiful wrapper, a really tasty cigar. Um, we brought, as I said, we launched these in February. I think we started shipping them in April, and they're showing up in the marketplace now. We're getting great reviews. Everybody seems to love it. And again, it has that wonderful, almost natural sweetness of a broadleaf wrapper. So this is a hot cigar, something to look for. And another Romeo and Julieta that we have this year is our aging room. This is a fun project. This is a collaboration that we did with Rafael Nodal. Uh, you guys probably have heard of him. Good friend of ours, he came to us, he said, you know what, I love Romeo. It's one of my favorite brands. I love how modern it is. I love how it really um, speaks to the world. Everybody knows the brand. Uh, and so we started talking about doing a project together. Um, our Grupo de Maestros worked with Rafael and Hochi Blanco uh, to blend the cigar. And we're just now launching the aging room, three different sizes. And it's, uh, I guess the idea is two great worlds come together and uh, the uh, cigar itself is uh, the synergy is probably greater than the, the two parts it's really a fantastic cigar to smoke so you guys are all about the uh, the collaborations this year huh a little bit yeah I guess the, um, it's uh, the Henry Clay the aging room the continuation of the Espada um, 
We're, we're always looking for innovation, looking to bring new things to the market, and these particular projects came together. And I think they're really great for our industry. They've been really fun projects to work on, and the best part of it is they're really great cigars to smoke. Yeah, that's that's the, the thing that really matters. In the end, right? that's what yeah. matters, right? Yeah. 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 So great. Now I'd like to show you one of our fun launches at the show. This is our new Henry Clay Pete Johnson tattoo. <laughs> This has a great story behind it. Back in the 90s, uh, when I was working with the company, I went out and I made a call on one of our retailers out in Los Angeles. I can't even remember the name of the retailers now. It might have been Jerry's, I think. And I met a young, good-looking guy named Pete, and uh, he was selling cigars in the store. And we talked about Henry Clay, because he was smoking a Henry Clay at the time, and how much he loved that great broadleaf wrapper. Over the years, we stayed in touch. We became friends, and Pete, that Pete was the Pete Johnson that we all know and love today. He got into the cigar business because of his love of cigars, and uh, our friendship continued. And every time we met, we said, you know what? Remember when I met you, and you were smoking Henry Clay, and you said, how much you loved it. He said, yeah, I still love it. It's one of my favorite cigars. We kept talking about doing something together with it. Last year at the show, we said, okay, this is the year we're going to do something. It took us about a year, really, to put it all together. Uh, we worked with our Grupo de Maestros. Pete worked very closely with them. We came up with a great blend that really pays homage, if you will, to that original Henry Clay. Um, it has this beautiful, what we call wet press, um, wow. like the original Henry Clay's. Um, the two bundles in the box, again, like that original Henry Clay look. This particular cigar has a Gruesa pigtail, which means it has a thick pigtail. Okay. It also features that beautiful dark Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, again, grown on our farms in Connecticut. And then it has some vintage Piloto Dominican binder and Olor and Criollo from Ometempe, Nicaraguan uh, fillers. So oh, okay. it has a nice... Uh, very fuller bodied, very complex flavors, again, very savory. Um, just, it's a great, great Henry Clay. Um, we're, again, limited edition, 50,000 sticks, and we're sold out of them here at the show. Yes, yes. So if you see them in your retailers and they'll start showing up in September, you better buy them yes. because they won't last very long.